guys, in today's video we're going to be testing slime from around the world. I've got some popular slime from America, Russia and also Canada, so we're going to be seeing how it differs throughout all the countries and I hope that you enjoy this video. The first slime package we're going to be reviewing is Canada and this is from Potcher Slimes. Now the first thing I noticed about this package was there was a lot of DIY aspects in it. So the slimes come ready made but there's a lot of build it yourself which I love, I really enjoy doing this. There was this meant to be a poke bowl, I thought it was super realistic, the smell was amazing, it smelled just like peanut. She said it's scented like wasabi, but to me it really really smelled like peanuts. Glue also feels really similar to American glue. I don't know if they have the same products out there, but I was so impressed by this slime. Her lavender madeleine slime was also very DIY like because it comes with these clay sculptures, they're madeleines, if you don't know what they are they're just this really nice like spongy dessert, it's really really good and I think she actually has real lavender that you add in, the smell was really nice, it was very very light, it wasn't an overpowering one at all so if you don't like lavender I think you'll still like this slime, I personally love it and I also thought the base was very clicky, it was a bit more jiggly than I was expecting, I don't know if it's just Canadian glue and that's how it comes out there. Molten chocolate chip cookie dough was another one that was kind of like a DIY but slightly different because you don't add the things in. It just comes with two different textured slimes and then you mix it in to create a new texture. And the slimes were originally I think like glossy and then the top one, it's like that snow fizz feeling that's very crunchy and textured and then when you mix it up it feels like a butter slime with a bit of texture. And I forgot to say the scents in Canada are amazing. I don't know if this is a Canadian thing if just all the scents there are great or this shop is just a really really good scent mixer but all of these smells were amazing. Honestly the best slime scents I've ever smelled. This one in particular was so realistic. I just couldn't stop smelling it and I don't normally like chocolate slime scents but this was just to die for. Cotton Candy Crunch Crisp was one of the most beautiful slimes I've ever come across. It was tri-coloured and it smelled like cotton candy and I just thought the really nice touch of this was the beads were also iridescent and normally with this type of slime the beads are just clear or just like translucent so you can see through them but they're kind of cloudy but this just made this slime, it was so beautiful, honestly one of the most beautiful slimes I've ever received and I think the clear glue is the exact same in Canada because it feels the exact same as the American glues and also the one I can get in the UK which is Elmer. The slime was just amazing, I couldn't believe that the beads didn't fall out as well, it was just so crunchy. Potter Slimes has a signature slime texture that I hadn't seen in any other shop and this is called a sand puff. I don't normally like scratchy slimes but I did want to try this out because there's been such a controversy around it because basically what happens when you take the slime out is it's really really hard, you can't play with it but it's just like one of those ones you need to work on to get it to the right texture and it reactivates with heat so you can pull it apart and fold it and this took me about, I'm not going to lie, probably about 10 minutes which is a lot of work considering that it's just such a small slime and it doesn't really seem like like it needs it but it turns into this really stretchy slime obviously not as stretchy as just like a glossy slime or anything like that but it's very unusual like it's wet but then you take your fingers off it and it's not wet I didn't I don't know how to feel about this I enjoyed the experience of fluffing it up and getting to know the slime but at the same time there was a lot of fallout and it wasn't my personal favorite texture but I do really like how transformative this was I 
more extra, she had some merchandise with her logo on it. And this came in the form of pins and also stickers. And then there was normal stuff like sweets and a cashew. Next up, we have America. And I always find that American slimes are always influenced by food in the texture, the scent, and also the appearance sometimes. And this slime is a prime example. This is garlic bread from Slime Fantasies. And it actually looks like melted butter on the top. It smells so realistic as well. I can't eat dairy and a lot of dairy scents make me feel sick. So I was really worried about this one, but it didn't make me feel sick at all. It smelled like that gorgeous aroma of when you're like walking past a restaurant and you're like, oh, that smells so good. I want to go in there. And this has a really nice texture to it as well. The base is a doughy one and the top is really crunchy. And when you mix it together, it really feels like crummy, like garlic bread. It was just so, so realistic. With American slimes as well, I also find that the savoury slimes are being embraced so much more. In a lot of countries, foods are the kind of inspiration source because they're so differing in like textures, scents, all of those types of things. But this was just a really, really clever slime. This is udon slime from Pig's Not Slime. And this is meant to be like scented like ramen, which I really did think it was. And the cool thing about this is the little noodle parts. This is actually made out of elastic bands. So when you're pulling it, it pulls out like when you're picking noodles out of a ball. And it's just so, so cool. A slime shop that really embraces the food slime trend is Kawaii Slime Company and they always have the most inventive packages. It honestly could be made out of food. Obviously slime is never edible, please don't try and eat it, but theirs is the most realistic and they have a whole ice cream collection at the moment. This is raspberry sorbet and you can buy like little add-ons in their shop. Another really cool thing about American slimes is that they don't just embrace the slime side, they sell supplies and they're very like business savvy and she sells a lot of really cool things and she also has a slime convention going on. It's called Hawaiian Slime Show and it's going to be in Anaheim on July 6th. It's going to be so much fun. I'm going and so loads of other slimers and it's just, it's amazing. But on the actual slime front, I always find that she has a lot of themes in her shop and the ice cream tub theme is a huge one at the moment. This is Raspberry Sorbet. It's made out of a clear slime, I think. It's so silky and the texture is really different between all of them. So the next one is called Butter Cookies and I really like playing with it. It was kind of like a cloud slime mixed with a butter slime. I also really like cookie dough. That was a really nice creamy one and Ra rainbow sorbet I think it was is just the most beautiful slime I've ever seen but all around her slimes are just amazing the presentation everything about it even the website is just it makes it such an experience and that's something I always find with American slimes Another thing I always find with American slimes is because they get products first and like everything's so readily available there, they can just hop on trends so much faster. So this is their honeycomb slime. I'm ripping it up really aggressively because it comes with a huge sponge in the middle and I wanted to give it a different texture. I think that's the intended use. But they always go above and beyond with their slimes and this one comes in a little box that looks like honeycomb. It's also wrapped up, it comes with the sponge, it comes with charms and the scent is just like honey and then the texture is amazing as well. So it really gives you the all round experience and this is something that comes in her shop. She also sells like phone cases and bags and all the slimes in America tend to come with borax as well because you can just get it in supermarkets over there whereas in other countries it was just a lot harder to get a hold of. Last but not least we have Russia and I could not wait to try this. I've never tried Russian slime before and this slime package is from Slimo Shop. This slime package has everything I was expecting and all the other slime packages and it's just so contrasting to anything I was expecting. It was so 
different just all around like the scents were so different the texture was so different the appearance is really different as well and it also didn't seem to have the same influences this is called cherry butter so it is kind of a food influence but the smell i don't know it's not quite medicinal i think it's just the scents available will be very different from kind of like canada and the us but it was a really really nice textured slime i absolutely loved it the texture was so different to any of the clay slimes we have over here i would say the closest texture is probably the polymer clay that everyone's using but it doesn't have a wet feeling at all and this stays so glossy as well which I was so impressed by Fluffy Cake is one of my favourite microflames I think I've ever received. The smelt really nice and the texture was so awesome. The glue is so obvious here that it's really, really different. It feels really soft. I don't think this is from add-ons. There wasn't like, I don't know, it didn't feel like any of the add-ons that I felt before at least. It was just really unique, really lovely, so crunchy and it didn't need loads of slimes to stay together because somehow none of the beads fell out. Adding use at the top of this slime is one that I haven't seen in any of the other countries, especially in none of the slimes I received at least, and this had chocolate chunks and also like foam cylindrical pieces. When you took the slime out of the container it was really thick and glossy and it had that really gorgeous soft texture again. Again this would just be because the glue is really different, but it stayed really thick, it gave such good bubble crunches and it had really nice sprinkles at the bottom. So there was a lot of texture in there and the smell for this was amazing. I think the smell is a really interesting one, I think maybe the ones that are meant to smell like sweet and fruity smell a bit medicinal but the ones that are like cake scents smell really good which is kind of like the opposite of American shots which is really interesting to me The clear slime glue isn't my favourite type of glue. It feels a lot like store-bought slimes in America, but this is very, very stretchy, and you can tell that she's definitely made it at home. The presentation is beautiful. I want to add that first because this is a very pretty slime. It has a lot of glitters in there. It's also a really gorgeous purple colour, and purples are a really hard colour to achieve, like with a nice vibrant shade because a lot of the pre-mixed ones just aren't very nice. And also another very different thing from American shops is when people want gold in America, they just put in some gold leaf, but this is like a gold foil and this won't um, turn the slime kind of green because I think the gold leaf in actual slimes like rusts but this won't do that so this was just a really beautiful slime it will stay beautiful for ages. The next slime also has the same texture, it's very jiggly. I did like the slime still because this slime was very beautiful and also very textured. It was slightly thicker as well and I did activate both of them before so I don't think it's anything like they melted down or anything like that. But the pom-poms really added something to this, this is a really nice texture with it. It really works with the jiggle as well, like it was really relaxing. I find in a lot of the thick slimes it's more like a pussy when you add the little pom-poms in but this was amazing, it was really nice. The scent wasn't my favourite. Favorite, but the slime is just so beautiful that I didn't really mind and I love the confetti stars in this I just I think the overall presentation in Russia is just very beautiful and it's very different from the US and Canada I think Viola might have been a mix of clay, clear glue and also white glue because this had a jiggly feel to it and the white glue before didn't. I don't know if this is maybe what the white glue feels like without some glycerin added in maybe but this was very shiny, very very nice to click but the smell for this was very overpowering, again quite medicinal but it was very stretchy, very fun to play with. I really enjoyed playing with it, I just wish it had a slightly different scent. If they were all scented like cake I think it would just be the best thing. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the slimes and you guys might I like it because scent is a very very personal and subjective thing but I really really did like the slime just in itself it was very glossy very easy to click you can't really like um, do bubble crunches with it but that's the only thing
Everything came really well packaged, absolutely nothing leaked, and it was also just a really beautiful package that was very different from any of the American packages I normally get. It came in this really well presented box. She gave me so many extras as well, and they were so unique. I really enjoyed it. She gave me lots of jam, she gave me some sweets, a little, I, I don't know what you guys call this, but in, in England we call it a bum bag, and she gave me stickers and all of that stuff, as well as borax and a care sheet and the normal stuff. Overall, what I've taken from this video is that Russia has very different ingredients and influences from the US and Canada. And the US and Canada are very similar in terms of like textures, the ingredients used and also influences. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next week.